the death rates are now better than they were in April, May. A second wave of COVID-19 is starting to spread across Canada, but it's already very different than the spring outbreak, with a lower percentage of infected people dying or ending up in the ICU. But that doesn't mean we can let our guard down. On the most basic level, we have a better understanding of how the virus spreads. So we know that this is mostly driven by close respiratory contact, so droplets. And therefore, we know that if you're in a closed indoor place with, without a mask, with many people, that's the recipe for getting infections really increased. The initial outbreak also led to a disproportionately high number of vulnerable people, including the elderly, becoming infected and dying at nursing homes like this one here in South Calgary. We've got about 10,000 deaths from COVID to date in Canada. Most of those occurred before July, and 80% of those occurred in nursing homes or long-term care institutions. Now, most new infections are found in younger people who, despite still facing danger, are less likely to die or end up in the ICU. With doctors better equipped to identify high-risk patients, knowing what drugs and treatments to avoid, and when and how to better use ventilators or blood thinners. We've also identified some better treatments, particularly dexamethasone. Dexamethasone uh, has been shown to be uh, effective. It is an anti-inflammatory corticosteroid um, like prednisone that reduces the, uh, the cytokine storm and the inf inflammation that occurs. Finally, people are more likely to seek treatment if they feel ill sooner than they were in the spring and are taking precautions to try and keep themselves and those at high risk safe. But we're seeing a, an accelerated number of cases. It's not just an increase in the number of cases, it's an accelerating increase in the number of cases. And that's got a lot of people very concerned. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.